Yo, 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 Donk and Dave here, and we're on the Cabot Trail, day number 48 of the Take It Easy Tour. Take it. And today is all about the ride. Yesterday was about getting here, and today is about the ride. And the Cabot Trail, famous road up here in Cape Breton Island. And I have heard that it is comparable to the Blue Ridge Parkway. So. We'll see. I'll live about two hours away as a crow flies from the, BR, the Blue Ridge. So we'll see what it looks like. But uh, last night, I uh, had a storm come through. I was able to outrun it to get to my campsite. And then it hit. <laughs> so uh, had a little bit of a long night. And now we're just gonna sit here and ride this trail and uh, it's about 55 degrees right now. Back home, it's about 97. So it's 55 here right now, and I've got two jackets on right now, uh, and it'll be fine. It'll warm up to about 65, and it'll be great. But this is a bucket list ride, guys. This is... Uh, this is one of those things that you got to do, and uh, at least that's what they say. So we'll find out. I'll get, a, get to some good spots, and uh, we'll let you know. Okay, now we're right, now we're on the, uh, the western edge of the Cabot Trail, and this is the... I guess it's the Atlantic Ocean, uh, and man, the wind is just kicking, 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 and I'm getting blown all over the place on the bike, but we're making, we're making do with it, but uh, this area here, um, it's pretty cool, I mean, you got the mountains over here, and it's kind of like the Blue Ridge Mountains. They're, they're not really mountain mountains. They're like hills, like we would have at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Parkway. At the Blue Ridge Parkway, they're not really mountain mountains. But the houses here and everything, they're, they're kind of... They're still like coastal houses, which is kind of cool to see. And... The, uh, the industries here, I mean, it's agriculture and tourism and fishing. It's always fishing. And you see a lot of barns here, lots and lots and lots of barns. So agriculture is big here still um, as a major industry. And another thing that I'm seeing is like every one of the houses has a box right there at the entrance to the driveway and I can't figure it out exactly what that is it, it might be a place where they would get packages you know if, if like FedEx were going to deliver something or Amazon were going to deliver something they have a box there so that they can put it in there or um, or it could be a place for their garbage I can't make heads or tails out of that but uh, it's pretty interesting um, it has not warmed up at all it's still about 55 degrees with the Sun beating down on me a little bit it's a little bit warmer but it is chilly and with the wind driving it's really chilly so we'll continue on and we're gonna come up to a, a place here in a few minutes it'll be pretty cool First, where's your shit at? I've got a turtle head poking out. Charming. This is a pretty cool view. We got uh, the mountains or the hills right here, and then it all goes up to a cliff right over there that, that way. That's pretty cool. And we got the coast right here on the right or on the left. 
can't see it right now, but there's been some pretty spectacular views out of that. And we'll catch this uh, again at some point. And the wind is just <laughs> the wind is just kicking its its ass on me right now. I mean, look at that flag right there. It's it's all fully extended. It's crazy. I bet this happens a lot though with the wind. I wonder how these roofs stay on these uh, houses here because with the wind like this, I mean, damn, it did tear up a damn roof. It's crazy. Coming into a place called Chetty Camp, and it's one of the biggest uh, villages, I guess you could say, on the west side of the Cabot Trail. And uh, that's what they got. They got uh, hardware stores and all that good stuff, and a lot of crabbing and lobstering, and got a big church. You can see that church from miles away. And then here's their docks over here. That's pretty interesting, I guess. But I saw a lobster boat that was offshore um, a few minutes ago, and man, it was it was struggling through these waves that's out here off the coast. Right here, it's calm, but you get out there in the ocean, and it's really rough. Really rough. And I'm doing the tourist thing right now. I'm, you know, I'm surprised that there is so much industry here and people here. I thought it was going to be more like a um, Blue Ridge Parkway where they didn't allow commercial driving and stuff like that. But, yeah, they do it here. They got all that going on. The gas here is expensive as fuck. Watch it's just profanity. expensive. It's like a dollar thirty-five a liter. I don't know how much that equates to as far as gallons goes, but I've been paying like a dollar twenty-four a liter, something like that, on the mainland. So it's a lot more expensive up here. The statue of the fisherman. Got some more docks here for the people. They got a real bank, RBC. And I'm hungry. I didn't get any breakfast. So I gotta get something to eat at some point in time. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Blue Tech, I don't know what that is. Here's a restaurant. I don't know if they're open or not. I could always go into a, like, a convenience store if I can find one and get some cheap stuff. But I want to get to like halfway before I eat. But they got these little motel things here. I mean, can you imagine staying in one of those little tiny little things? A little laundromat. They don't build big houses up here for obvious reasons. I mean, nothing's really big, big, big. Most of them are small. It cost a shit ton of money, live fiddling today. It cost a lot of money to build a house up here. You know, everything's got to be imported. And it cost a ton of money. Fish and chips in there. I'm hungry. Get some to eat. I don't want fish and chips. I've been eating fish and chips like every other day. That's just not fun. Robin's drive-thru. Guess that's coffee and stuff. I don't want that. And people out mowing the grass. Old folks out there mowing the grass. Getting it done. More chalets right there. That's funny. And there's the ocean. Way out there, and it's angry. Really angry. 
That's a pretty cool view right there. Hell yeah. That's not bad. What if this is as good as it gets? Oh. To the Cape Breton and the Cabot Trail Highlands National Park and this is what I was kind of looking for I thought that there was going to be some kind of a park or something like that that you had to you know do and apparently you gotta um, pay <laughs> of course you gotta pay so we'll get in here and get on the road. I'll uh, do this and then come back. Bunk it out. You hungry? Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? Well, that was cool. The lady said that my pass, which only cost seven dollars Canadian, so that's about five bucks American, is good until four o'clock tomorrow. So I can ride this tomorrow as well. So that's good. And she also said that there's moose all over the place. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see if there's going to be any moose. And they've got camping up here. I was thinking about, thinking about coming up here, but I don't think I will. I've got to uh, catch a ferry on Monday and be at the terminal at like 9 o'clock, so uh, that wouldn't give me enough time, I think. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Acadian, er uh, uh, Acadian area, and Acadia apparently uh, is French because they speak French here first and English second rather than English first and French second. And I don't know that much about Acadian culture or anything like that. I know that the music here is pretty cool and I was hoping to be able to catch some of that, but I don't know if I will. It's uh, Saturday right now. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. All right, we're gonna ride for a little while and just see what we can see. This is, wow, that's a pretty cool rock face right there. That's picture worthy. I don't know what those guys there were stopped for, but that's pretty cool. Grand Filet. It's pretty big. They got their uh, they got their picnic tables marked. You got to reserve them, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Come in here and check this out. See if it's anything worth looking at. All right, we'll be back. That looks pretty good though, doesn't it? Don't give out. Joey, have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? <laughs> Can't argue with that. And then uh, we got another something coming up here. That's cool. We'll go up here to the next one. I bumped into three ladies that were descendants of the Acadians. Uh, and they don't live here now, but their grandmother lived here. 
and they gave me a big history about the Acadians that the Acadians lived uh, in uh, uh, Nova Scotia and they were dispersed and they kind of settled here and they settled some of them settled in Louisiana how about that wow that is freaking cool that is cool that is a neat view right there uh, so the Acadians I mean they were French and they settled um, in different places uh, in this in this area I guess there were 12 families that settled here and uh, I'm not gonna go there I don't want to go there uh, but there were 12 families that settled at the village that I just passed through and this is a steep ass hill we're coming up here very very steep and they said that there's moose all over the place here too uh, the lady said watch out because around any corner there could be a moose so I'll be looking out Wow, nice hill. Bikes handling it just fine. And there's a lookout right here. So we're going to do this. Let's see what we get. That's not bad right there. That's pretty damn cool. All right, Dong and Dave out. Is it cold in here? So yeah, I just talked to a couple other dudes there. One guy was on a BMW uh, 1200. Uh, sport tourer and we talked about this bike a little bit and he seemed to like it a whole lot I kind of liked his bike but uh, yeah he was curious about the uh, Honda setup and everything that was that was cool to talk to him he's from Michigan and he's got to be back in Michigan Wednesday man that is a hellaciously long ride to get back to Michigan from here uh, I don't I don't uh, envy that dude he's gonna be slabbing it for shit four days five days yuck that's gonna suck for him and uh, the wind is calming down just a little bit the ladies that I talked to, they said that uh, if the wind, the wind's coming out of the north right now, they said if the wind were coming out of the south, that the wind would have blown me off the road. It's that bad. That's a good shot right there. Wow, look at those waves. That is kick ass. Woo, the wind. Woo, the wind. Wow. French Mountain. I guess if they are Acadian, they are French. All right, let's see what else we got. I don't know, sir. It's what is it, soldier? Well, I mean, it's pretty hairy in there. It, it's Charlie's point. Charlie, don't surf! All right, we just came to uh, the top of the highlands right here. And now we're going to be descending. And there was a sign that said, uh, use low gear. I don't have a problem with that. 
but uh, the view here ought to be pretty cool that's kind of a unique look there just to see the ocean right there but apparently uh, the, the, the cap rock on top of the highlands here is a type of a granite and a schist which is another very old hard rock and uh, it's existed here for like 350 million years so it's a long time and what happened was that any other newer rocks or whatever that were deposited on top of those things they just got eroded away so that just left the the schist and the granite really it's continental granite because that's what our continents are based of anyway it's just a big old ginormous floating piece of granite that's what i do i drink and i know things uh that's cool good looking stuff good views And the bike is just doing phenomenally with all of this. No problems at all. Wow, that is, that is cool looking. All right, continuing down. I'm assuming we'll be going down to uh, sea level here real soon. Once I pass this dude apparently he didn't like me uh, passing him bite my shiny metal ass that's nice You know, when you're going 15 miles an hour and you trap it behind you, you can do 40. What are you going to do? They just don't get it. Well, we'll get back down here to the sea level soon. We'll be in good shape. Nice, 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 nice. All right, that'll do it for now. You know what? I will have some meatloaf. Let's have some meatloaf. You want some? Yes. I knew you'd go. Hey, mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! The meatloaf! All right, the sign just said it would be a curvy road, so let's see what they got. We're going uphill pretty damn steep too. It must be like an 8% grade. It's steep. Oh, got a downshift. Hold on, Doc. Oh, come on 472 cc let's go let's get it that's better the wind is still just absolutely kicking
somebody's sick. I got uh, motion sickness. Alright, that'll do it for the Curry Roads. See what else we can get into.